Many people are familiar with the law of attraction now due to the popularity of the book and movie The Secret. The laws of the universe, however, are a bit more complicated than that. The law of attraction is just one of the 12 universal laws and cannot work alone. Although movies like The Secret are an excellent primer for introducing people to universal laws, they fall a bit short in their ability to teach people all they need to know to manifest. Due to its limited size, it oversimplified a lot of things, which are very important to understanding and working with the universal laws. People get frustrated with trying to manifest their ideal reality. They try things like vision boards, affirmations, visualization techniques, and many more things, only to find that they are still coming up short. They may target this energy to things like wealth and money, when what they truly want is security and freedom. The law of attraction definitely works, but it requires a deeper understanding and an application of all of the universal laws together. Recognizing and getting a brief understanding of the full circle of universal laws will make working with the law of attraction much easier. If you struggle to manifest your desires using only the law of attraction, this video will clear everything for you. You will learn to use all of the 12 universal laws and this will give you the power to create every desire, every dream, and every wish you possess into a great reality. Your manifestation will become much faster, much stronger, and much bigger than ever before. This video is sponsored by FreshGaia.com. FreshGaia offers many free products and all you have to pay is the shipping. You can find some very useful things like this shower filter, which completely filters the toxic chemicals like fluoride and chlorine from our water. There's also an adjustable faucet filter, which purifies your tap water, together with many other products. Check the link in the description below for more information. Before we start, let me explain to you what those magical laws of the universe are and how they actually work. These laws are based on metaphysical, philosophical, and quantum physics principles, which have been in function since the beginning of time, and they were often understood only by mystics and sages. These laws are now being proven by science as well, and slowly, humanity is awakening to its awareness of being deliberate creators through thought and through emotion. Understanding that these 12 laws work alongside all the other laws in the universe since the Big Bang, and perhaps even before that, when the universe was simply thought and singularity. Richard Kahn Henry, professor of physics and astronomy, said, Get over it and accept the inarguable conclusion. The universe is immaterial, mental and spiritual. Everything in the universe, when broken down to the smallest particles, is made of energy, including us. Everything is a sea of electrons vibrating in circular patterns at different frequencies. Since energy moves in circular patterns, it is easy to understand that what we send out vibrationally is what will come back to us at a certain point in time. It might be immediate or delayed, depending on the focus and intensity you put into thoughts. A significant factor is also how much emotion and verbal or behavioral action you attach to the thought as well. When you attach emotions to the thoughts you have, you're multiplying the energy sent in the universe and therefore you will bring the things you're focusing on into the physical much faster. You're responsible for your life. You have a free will that lets you choose your focus on positive or negative thoughts. And more importantly, you have an emotional guidance system that lets you know what you're thinking and therefore vibrating. Every time you feel joy, pleasure, desire, enthusiasm, or passion, your emotions tell you that you are aligned with your wishes and are attracting positive-like things into your physical experience. 
In the same fashion, whenever you're feeling despair, depression, anger, or lack, your emotions are telling you that you are misaligned vibrationally with the things you want and are going in the opposite direction, attracting with this vibration unwanted things. Emotions are your most wonderful and sophisticated tool for guiding and understanding your life from moment to moment. The laws of the universe provide guidelines for attitudes and behaviors that transform and optimize your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual body. Without any further delay, here are the 12 universal laws. 1. The Law of Divine Oneness There is one word I love that I believe sums up this law nicely, Namaste. In its literal translation, I bow to you, Namaste is a salutation that emphasizes the understanding that we are all made from the same Divine Oneness. In other words, all things are connected and we are all one. It is a way of acknowledging and recognizing the connection we all share. The Law of Divine Oneness states that all life, all energy, comes from one source. We are all energy connected throughout ourselves and affecting each other every moment. Everything we do, say, think, and believe affects us and the collective consciousness of all humanity as well as the evolution of the universe. Learn how to see and realize that everything connects to everything else. Leonardo da Vinci this law teaches us service for the higher good. It puts unconditional love and contribution to others as the ultimate self-actualization and fulfillment that can bring true and lasting happiness. When we fulfill our needs and come in contact with our higher self, we discover our passions and want to contribute and help others throughout this exact passion of ours, regardless of what they are. From teaching spiritual knowledge to baking, writing, or playing music. The macro universe is a living organism that continually receives and gives energy in creating a material reality. When we decide to contribute to it positively, we find ourselves showered with blessings and support for creating this grander vision of life. Synchronicities will flow and the right people and events will come and help you move ahead with your dreams, with whatever brings you joy, because the purpose of all of this is to experience happiness, to live from your heart, and to contribute through your passion. The bigger, non-physical system brings you opportunities for happiness and self-actualization, and you, in return, help it become unified powerful, and evolve it with new and improved conditions in the physical plane. That is the essence of the Law of Divine Oneness. 2. The Law of Vibration Everything is energy, and that is all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality you want, and you cannot help but get that reality. It can be no other way. This is not philosophy. This is physics. Albert Einstein Each sound, every thought, and most importantly, every feeling and emotion has a unique vibrational frequency, and they all move, vibrate, and travel in circular patterns. Thoughts and feelings have a very significant power of attraction. Knowing how to be aware of your feelings and focusing on how to raise your vibrational frequency to be aligned with your desires is the most substantial and crucial thing you can do in order to create the life of your desires. The same law states that like frequencies attract like frequencies. Therefore, your focus on either positive or negative thoughts or feelings will attract more of the same kind. 
Each emotion is the same vibration, but with different frequencies at each spectrum. For example, powerlessness has a very low and dense frequency, while personal power is the same vibration, but with a frequency that is high, positive, exhilarating, and vibrating at the opposite spectrum. You have to match the frequency you want to attract into your life to a similar thought, feeling, word, and action coming from you in order to materialize your desires, which are also energy frequencies. If your goal is to attract wealth, then you need to act as if you have it. Focus on the feelings that this wealth would bring you and feel the joy of it being created in the non-physical and the knowingness that it is coming to you in the physical as well. You don't need to care about how it will happen and get yourself entangled into the details. Your only job is to keep yourself focused on good feelings about that subject and raise your vibrations on them. Whatever you want is already created for you and already present in the universe. All you need to do is align yourself with the vibration of your desire so that you can allow it into your life. Finding out what it is that you want will give you feelings of enthusiasm and joy. You will receive energy to move in the direction of your dreams. These feelings are the ones that you need to take action on. When you act as if what you desire is already in your possession, you align yourself with the vibrational frequency of that which you desire and bring it fast. In this way, you start closing the gap between your mental picture and your physical reality, and you will attract circumstances, people, and creative ideas that will help you achieve your goal. This is the essence of the Law of Vibration. 3. The Law of Action This rule states that you must facilitate the other laws with inspirational action. We need to exercise action when we receive guidance from within ourselves. The way to know if your guidance is coming from your mind or from the peaceful inner self is by reading your feelings and becoming aware of how you feel about what you have to do. If it feels good and you are enthusiastic about it, then it is guidance coming from that more substantial, knowledgeable part of you. But if the action you need to take feels burdensome, confusing, or you feel like procrastinating, then something is not right and you would be better off waiting until you become clearer about your purpose. Stay awake and when the idea or opportunity comes, move with it, but don't make radical actions that would bring you into low emotions such as fear, despair, or lack. You need to train yourself to look at the glass half full and start sending intentions in the universe that will bring about circumstances that will change your life situations. You should make the change gradually instead of making drastic moves that can drag you into despair or big trouble. Being in despair would not help you change your vibrations. This is where most of us fail. We might know what we want, but we fail to take action because we are either skeptical feel unworthy and not capable of achieving our dreams, or are too depressed or exhausted from living in harsh conditions. The creation process always starts in the mind with an idea. Affirmations and visualizations do a tremendous job, but without consistent action from your part, your goals will become dreams and regrets for not living life to the fullest. Even if your steps will be off track here and there, with each action, you become clearer on hearing and following your intuition. Get energized and get closer to your desired outcome. Most importantly, have faith and patience in pursuing success. Trust your guidance when making decisions and know that the power to create it is inside you 
and that the universe supports you 100%. 4. The Law of Correspondence As above, so below. Your inner reality creates your outer world. What you think, feel, and say to yourself and believe on the inside brings the circumstances, people, and life situations in your external reality every day. Most people don't think in this way because we have all been trained to believe that everything is outside of us and we have no control over external circumstances. Your career, relationships, finances are all reflections of your inner beliefs and what you consider yourself to be worthy of having in your life. You cannot blame anyone or anything for your life situation. Your beliefs and your ego will make up all sorts of stories to keep you from facing your true feelings and get to the core of those unhelpful beliefs so you can know them and change them. The only thing you have to learn is to change your perception in life, change your focus, because living in a conditioned society with beliefs and limitations trains us to forget who we truly are and how much power we possess. We ignore our emotions and desires and settle for less. We say to ourselves, that cannot happen to me. I'm not one of those lucky people. In reality, you can do and achieve everything, and the power to change is inside of you. It does not depend on anything that is outside of yourself. Others have done it before you, and they didn't have anything more than what you have. But they learn to do the necessary steps in order to achieve what they want. They discovered that the most important thing is that you focus on what you want to have in your life and turn your attention away from whatever manifestation happened that was not aligned with what you wanted. Instead of thinking, it's too hard, it's impossible, I'm not capable, and all that negative self-talk that was programmed by your ego, you need to start focusing on what you want. Start asking yourself, why not believe in good things coming to me no matter what my physical reality shows me? Why not focus on the non-physical creations and understanding that everything is vibration and you create through putting your focus on negative or positive expectations? You don't have anything to lose if you start doing this, but instead, you will start feeling better right this moment. Your good feelings at this moment will speed up that manifestation tremendously. You will be able to follow the guidance you need to take, and the results will immediately follow. The results that you will get will serve as evidence to you and will build your confidence more and more. The central limiting beliefs humanity suffers from are, I am powerless, I'm not lovable, and I'm not worthy. They are all illusions about our fearful self. You are powerful beyond your present understanding. You are given opportunities to know your potential truthfully by becoming aware of your thoughts and removing those self-imposed barriers. 5. The Law of Cause and Effect With every thought, feeling, and action, you shape your reality accordingly. You are in charge of the process, and you attract exactly what you believe yourself worthy of receiving. If you are in a bad financial situation, you attracted it with your beliefs about money. What you think and feel and therefore vibrate out is what you will get back. Even though we want to blame outside circumstances, that is not the truth, and that makes us powerless as well. So, no more blaming of external events and playing the victim mentality. Let's focus instead on taking responsibility for our lives, 
for the unwanted, unconscious creations that are playing in front of our eyes. Let's shift gears towards facing our feelings on the areas that make us unhappy and focus on what we do want and create the future we intend. The best way to attract what you want faster is to focus on the feelings you received. When you think of this desire, just spread these feelings around you and surround yourself with whatever builds that vibration. Whatever it is that you want in your life, send it out now and give it to others. This is how you attract more of it. You want love and understanding. Give it to others unconditionally. Remember, the most cherished gifts are those coming from the heart. A smile, a hug, a flower, kind advice, and most importantly, the gift of love. 6. The Law of Compensation This law is the reaction of the universe when we applied the previous law, the law of cause and effect. It brings us back what we are sending out through our vibrational frequencies. We receive blessings and abundance as rewards that can take any form from money, gifts, friendships, love, creativity, to fear, lack, envy, jealousy, or victim mentality, depending on what we send out. Success means not only money or monetary rewards, but abundance in all forms coming towards us as a response to our deeds. All things come to you mirroring your inner world, showing you the thoughts you think, the feelings you have, and whatever form of energy you send out into the universe so that you can become aware of it and change it if needed. You need to be grateful for your negative feelings because they are the most amazingly accurate tool that shows you precisely what you vibrate. Once you understand their usefulness, and approach them with compassion and love for yourself, instead of blame and guilt, they will start softening up and will be released from your emotional body. All that energy will be freed up so you can use it to your advantage instead of it being repressed and stagnant in you, attracting circumstances that you do not want. We are free to send out what we want in order to receive more of it. 7. The Law of Attraction The most famous of the 12 universal laws is the Law of Attraction. The law states that all matter, our feelings, words, and actions are energies that, in turn, attract same energies. Everything in the universe is energy, and energies attract similar energies. When you put a thought such as, this person is mean, you will attract exactly that mean attitude from that person or somebody else. You may even attract some sort of event that will confirm to you that the universe is hostile and that you are a victim. Whatever beliefs you hold right now is what attracts your present life circumstances. When we choose to believe the world to be a friendly place where everybody is eager to cooperate and interact with us to help accomplish our goals, we will attract positive and helpful people that would like to work, play, and pretty much be around us. If we are positive and an inspiration for those that come in contact with us, they will match our vibration as well. You cannot change the world, but you can change your perception of it. If you can accomplish creating a new perception, everything will change because when you vibrate on a positive note, you can attract only positive manifestations. Feel, talk, and act as you already have what you want. And the first step is to hold firmly in your mind the story of your ideal life. 
I can hear you say, but that means I would be lying to myself. How can I say I'm rich when I don't have money for my rent? You're not lying to yourself, and being aware of the lack of something brings more lack of that thing. So, you want to learn always to be grateful and look in the direction of improved conditions. You should at least have hope for something good coming to you because you understand these universal laws. You understand that your beliefs create your reality and you choose to create according to your wishes, not against them. If you want abundance, focus and repeat to yourself a story about how rich, happy and abundant the life is that you're living. 8. The Law of Perpetual Transmutation of Energy All of us have within ourselves the ability to change our life conditions at any given moment. Energy is in constant motion, and all energy eventually manifests. This law also states that you have the power to change your life. Higher vibrational energies consume lower energies, so, if you don't like the path you are on, change it, or, more importantly, allow it to be changed rather than try to force your will on people or circumstances. Rearrange the way you think and choose to empower yourself. Learn to go with the flow of the universe. When we resist change or try to assert a false sense of control over the external world, it always leads to struggle. We must learn to embrace change, work with energies, and allow circumstances and opportunities to manifest according to divine providence. The ego's need for a false sense of control can block the flow of positive energy. It is fear-based thinking and can undermine your progress in all the other areas if you don't recognize it. What you focus on you bring into your life, and until you've become the master of your mind, you will attract all sorts of experiences and people, both negative and positive. Keep your focus on positive things. Be grateful for what you have and keep moving ahead, disregarding unwanted events that you manifest, making the best out of every moment. You also must know that if in one moment you think, I am successful, but then you have another thought that says, that's not true, look how miserable I am. These two thoughts will cancel each other. You're sending positive energy and then canceling it with a negative vibe. That's why you should consistently choose to see the positive in every situation. Fortunately, when you're being negative, you need to spend much more energy in order to materialize these negative thoughts because well-being is the nature of the universe and positive thoughts are much more powerful than the negative ones. Positive thoughts and especially feelings have much more attraction power. So basically, everything in this universe is working to your advantage. You just need to start noticing this reality you never knew about and disregard the collective hypnosis that humanity is under. More and more people will awaken and realize the power that is within them. 9. The Law of Relativity This law teaches that every soul will face some challenges. It's what you do with those challenges that defines you and determines what you become. You can fall under the pressure or rise above and allow your trials to strengthen you. Learn to use your life's challenges as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. Each one of us receives our fair share of problems in life, and even though we label these events as misfortunes, in reality, they represent a strengthening and training for our soul, for the light we carry within and need to remember. Looking at our life here on Earth as the totality of our existence makes us fearful, limited, and weak. We are so scared of the world, of diseases, of death, 
that we lose awareness of the bright light we carry within our own being. We forgot our power and our connection to the higher consciousness that we are part of and that can totally support us and take the hard work and struggle out of our life experience. Recognize the present situation for what it is. Don't look at it from your conditioned experience here on the planet, but have a bigger picture of the whole universe and your connection and purpose in this dance. Choose at this moment to understand that obstacles are opportunities for identifying what you don't want in your life. Send out desires for the opposite of that, desires which will bring expansion and growth. Usually, your biggest fear or obstacle has entangled your greatest power to turn things entirely in the direction that you want. Trust your heart and intuition when making decisions, and you will be on the right track. Know that regardless of what your current life situation is, now is the moment when you can change it because by becoming aware of whatever you attracted until now, you can identify the underlying emotion or belief that is keeping you back and shift it around. All is relative to the perception that you have regarding the situation that you're in. There are a million options that can happen to correct the situation you're in, but from fear, you will probably see one or two, and those are going to be really negative ones. That is why you need to trust in the divine presence inside you that can guide things and create synchronicities that can shift your situation completely. All you have to do is be at peace with everything that happens to you and know that it is being taken care of. You should only take that action that feels good. If you take action from fear, you will attract more struggle and things vibrating on that level. You must always get clearer and relaxed before taking any decision. Be grateful for your uniqueness, for all the things that bring you joy and make your life pleasant. Focus on what you want to create without feeling bad that you don't have it, but instead dream about how you would feel if you would have those desires fulfilled now. Your ego is paralyzing your actions for change and then it makes you feel guilty and weak for not reaching your full potential. I cannot stress enough how important it is to remove your limiting beliefs and all these egotistical behaviors that we all learned throughout our lives as responses to negative experiences. You need to stop your daily useless mental chatter that poisons you with doubts and insecurities and start focusing your attention on what you want. This is what will change your life shift the story from one of weakness and struggle to one of an empowered and infinitely creative being. Once you start believing it and taking action towards it, your external world will shift. 10. The Law of Polarity Also called the Law of Opposites or the Law of Mental Vibrations, this universal law states that every single thing in the universe has its own opposite and we can transcend negative thoughts by focusing on positive ones and in this way building a higher vibration. Your perception of the present moment, the now, is what gives the event reality and the reality you focus on gets to perpetuate itself. Even though the same moment has infinite ways of unfolding and even if it is bad now, it can turn into something great because now you are aware of what your vibration is on that subject. And now you can change it and attract something that you want. Think of all those moments when a perceived negative event proves to be the best thing that happened to you. This is what happened to me when I lost my job. At first, I thought, it's a horrible event only to realize after how grateful I am for it happening. Because of that event, I can now realize what it is that I actually love in life and pursue it full time. This has started my journey of self-discovery and brought me an opportunity to use my passions. 
Sometimes, from our limited perspective, we cannot see what serves us. That's when the universe steps in and removes us from circumstances that we are not aligned with. Sometimes, if we want our life to change, we have to let go of what isn't useful anymore so that we can make space for what truly matters. We are usually resistant to let go of whatever doesn't serve us. We tend to be more persistent in holding on to and focusing all day long on what is going wrong. We focus on our negative emotions, even though all we keep asking for is positive ones. Having peace of mind and empowerment starts with saying yes to change. You must accept the present moment as an opportunity for the great success that is coming. Only through the present moment, the now, can you transcend a negative outcome by accepting it first. When you accept it, you will become aware of it and experience it while comforting yourself so that it can transform into a higher one. Do not resist life. What you see in your physical reality reflects your inner world. If it showed up, it means you attracted it with your thoughts, emotions, words, or deeds. Be grateful for what it is showing you and then take action towards a different outcome. 11. The Law of Rhythm All energy vibrates and moves according to its own rhythm. These rhythms established cycles and patterns. Think of the seasons, all of which form a full year. Each season has its own purpose and function, but as a vital part of the full circle. Learn to harmonize with the higher vibrational energies that you seek to attract. Raise your vibration through the understanding and practice of the other universal laws and align with those higher energies. Meditation is a means that many use to connect their energy to the source, and as a result, they maintain higher frequencies and a sense of connection throughout the day. The universe is infinite, formless, and death is nothing more than transformation and renewable. It is a beginning of a new cycle, not an end. All nature accepts these cyclical changes. We are the only ones scared and resistant to change. We are afraid of the unknown because we don't see the connection between everything and cling to what we have, even if it doesn't serve us. There is a time for transformation and a time for growth. Learn how to navigate your periods of change and transformation efficiently, and you will be amazed at the potential hidden in these cycles of change. These are the periods that hold diamonds in terms of the shift and quality of life they can bring. Trust what life brings to you and accept it. It is here only to teach you a valuable lesson you need to learn and to bring you into higher alignment with who you truly are so that you won't repeat it in the future. The sooner you embrace and accept the changes into your life, the sooner you will transcend the transformational period and see the vast opportunity hidden behind it. But you cannot see it until you make peace with where you are currently and move into a different consciousness. Then your external reality will shift and reflect the inside changes and then solutions will start showing up with ease. When something bad happens in our life, we tend to stay with the problem and think about the same negative thoughts. What happens in your outside circumstances is not important until you give your response to it. You can choose to continue on your path and trust that everything is going to be okay, or you can resist and fight against them, only to prolong the negative conditions. Everything has a meaning and a purpose in your world, and when you understand and accept that, you will realize that no coincidences are happening, only synchronicities meant to bring you closer to your desires and who you truly are. 12. The Law of Gender Everything has a feminine, yin, and a masculine, yang, energy. 
and the union of these two principles gives birth to everything in creation, including us. Moreover, all things need a period of gestation and growth before reaching maturity. Our task is to balance the masculine and feminine energies within us in order to achieve self-mastery and become a co-creator with the universal consciousness. Our thoughts are ruled by the same law and therefore need a period of incubation and growth before we see them taking form in our physical reality. This is crucial for achieving our goals since most of the time we become impatient too soon and sabotage our results by abandoning our desires right before the opportunity to succeed would have arrived. All of our desires need our determination, patience, and trust in order to manifest. Manifestation is a vibrational alignment with that part of you that was already created and became that which you asked for the moment you asked it. If you feel good and believe it, then it can show up into your life in a matter of hours or days. These were the 12 Universal Laws. If you learn to use them and combine all of them, you can manifest everything in your life. If you stay until the very end, leave a comment starting with, I am. Write down what you want to manifest and bring it into yourself. I'll leave a link to another amazing video I have for you which contains the most powerful methods to raise your vibration instantly. Make sure to watch it and apply these methods together with the 12 Universal Laws and nothing will stand in your way. The entire universe will work in your favor. Thank you for watching. Before you close this video, we'd like to remind you to visit FreshGaia.com and explore all of their incredible products. Links in the description below.